And here comes the manpower. Here we go. Going up 250,000. 7.35 million manpower. <laughs> hey, I am Feedback Gaming, and this is Hard Surviving 4. I know you as the community have a fetish for empires. What's your favorite empire, you say? Comment below. Is it the British Empire? Ottoman Empire? The Russian Empire? The American Empire? No joke, that's not a real empire. If you answered any of those empires, wrong. The correct answer is the Roman Empire. Can we get 10,000 likes? The Roman Empire. The Little Italy. Mussolini. Today will be the most historical game. We are going to be a military competent Italy. Regular historical. Off we go. And this is it. This is why we're here today. Realize Roman ambitions. All of this. You can see we've got a long list of things to do. In brief, all the Yugoslavian states, all the Greek states, all the Bulgarian states, all the Russian states, all the Portuguese states, all the Belgian states, all the Italian states, all the Spanish states, all the French states, as well as the African Middle East, and all the British states, Egypt, Middle East, and Eastern Mediterranean. Now, don't get me wrong. You do a world conquest, you can do this. But what's the fun in that? You get all these cores, you get all this manpower, you get all these factories, but you can't use them because the game's technically already over. So how about you form this in the quickest, most efficient way possible? Welcome to a Feedback Gaming exploit video. Well, I will be using all the Italian exploits in this video. Are you ready? But first, giveaway time. I need you to like, subscribe, bell, and comment below DLC, please. I will randomly select a comment below. Check if you've liked and belled and subscribed. And if you win, you can have any copy of a Paradox DLC. Have you liked? Have you subscribed? Have you belled? Have you commented below DLC, please? This is your last chance. Italy starts a war with Ethiopia. What we're going to do, select all these boyos, change them to the reserve division template, this one, and we'll pop them on the front line here. But first... Let's go to Occupied Territories. Let us release Eritrea, release this puppet, and Somali. There we go. Two puppets. So like these guys pick a general. In this case, we'll go for Messi. Frontline, go here. Frontline, go here. Field Marshal. At the same time, we want to get rid of all the air out of here, apart from anything that does close air support. So grab up you guys, send them to Rome, and then we'll split them and divide up. We're going to do two things. We're going to grind air XP by doing close air support, and we're going to grind at least two generals to get them two traits that we need in future, such as infantry leader for that extra 10% attack on infantry expert, as well as mountaineer, which we'll be using a lot of. Without further ado, go, be aggressive, off you go. We'll start bashing our head against the mountains and grinding those lovely juicy traits the rest of the divisions on the other hand we'll assign those to a general pop them onto the reserve template uh pop them here exercise to level three garrisons we are going to change to local police force if you hold control you can see this reduces the total garrison size by 15 percent also reduces resistance by 10 percent unfortunately don't gain compliance we're not going for the long game here today guys so don't worry too much about compliance let's do the chores Yes, machine tools, yes, girders, yes, battlefield support, and yes, mass assault. Let's build up the civilian industry here, here, here. Let's adjust the production. Don't need tanks, don't need motorized. Don't need all the ships that are less than 50% constructed. And we'll finish these ones off. And at the same time, we'll produce some old submarines. The bathtub strategy, coined by Feedback Gaming, where you spam out loads and loads of cheap submarines that are absolute trash. Not necessarily to win the Battle of Sea, just to hold naval supremacy to be able to do naval invasions. And we're going to be doing a few of those late game. Rest of the production, hold shift. We're going to go for some artillery, five of those. And then the rest will be pop into close air support. Let's have a little look at the production. That's eh, one too many. In that case, we'll knock one off. That way we only need to do one import of rubber, which we'll get from the Dutch East Indies. And that looks pretty good to me. Perfect. So we can just bypass this. Oh, that was easy. 70 days, saved, industrial effort, four factories. Don't mind if I do. And five speed, off we go. Close air support, bombs away. Now, as you can see with this general, Mr. Messi, he's getting infantry leader at a lovely, aggressive rate, as well as mountaineer as well. You tend to find that you gain lots of XP initially as you're winning. Then when you're not winning, you don't gain as much XP as quickly. Industrial effort is done. Let's go for industrial effort two. So creative with the name is Paradox. Now we've got some more civilian factories. We can go for an agency. And wow, that's a good name. Mm, that's better. He's got mountaineer. We've run out of fuel, so you can just get a little bit of extra fuel. And he's got infantry leader. Now, at this point, there's no point grinding this guy for XP anymore. So what we're going to do is hop onto another general. Career officer as well as cautious. He'll do. Spy agency. And we're going to go for concentrated industry. We're not going for a long game. Industrial effort two is complete. Army primacy for more military factories. Localized training centers is complete. We're going to go for a spy in big old France. There we go. Recruit France spy. Just about to get infantry leader. Good. In that case, we can start justifying on Austria. So we can end the war now. Good. On the border of Little Austria. And battle plan it is. 
Oh, what's this? Spanish Civil War? What a perfect opportunity to send some air volunteers. I'm going to send 200 close air support right about here to cause some havoc. And now, as an added bonus, because we puppeted Ethiopia, we no longer have to wait 70 days for Triumph of Africa. Next up, we're going to go for the extra research slot. And we've also got 150 political power, so war economy is the one we want to go for. So once our planes have reached Spain, max out the air wing, split them down over and over again until we get one air wing size, put them on high priority, and then pray to R and Jesus. There we go. One, two. Come on, give us some more. There's more than two here. If you find they don't come very often, merge them all back up again. Press D over and over again to split them down. And and put your hands together and pray. Pray! Pray some more! Keep praying! Keep praying in the comments, guys. Come on. Put your hands together and pray to R and Jesus. You're probably thinking right now, hang on a second, Dave. These divisions suck. And you're going to be bashing against mountains in Austria. How are you going to break through? Wait and see. Wait and see. You will see. Another spy? Another French spy opportunity? I will take that. But this spy is not going to go into France. No, no, no. This spy is going to go right into Yugoslavia. Right. Let's start working on artillery. Concentrate industry because we're going for a short game and focusing on production, uh, construction because we're all going to make in civvies and military factories. Dive bombing because we want to try and work towards this one, combat unit destruction. That's the only way we're going to be able to compete with fighter planes with CAS and also working all the way down artillery. Extra spy, uh, the options aren't very good. Uh, fair enough, you'll do. And we'll bop you into Serbia. Justification on Upper Austria is complete. Let's bring our close air support back. And then straight away, we're going to go aggressive and push directly into the little Austria. As you can see, the amount of damage we're doing with close air support is horrendously high. We need to go for Yugoslavia. Justify, off you go. As you can see right now, I don't even need to coordinate the attacks. Right now, everything's just pushing in very nicely. And I'm just going to grab this land here so we can encircle these divisions. If we encircle them in time before Austria falls, that means we'll gain a little bit of extra experience for our generals, which is always good. And it does appear to be the case. Get into there, get rid, and goodbye, Austria. And we are going to completely annex them. Okay, it's really important now we put all the divisions in the right places. We're going to have one on Czechoslovakia, one on Yugoslavia, an extra army group on the border of France. You go here, you go here, and you go here. Okay, we're going to go to our reserve template now, duplicate, pop on some artillery, give it a fancy icon. It's like a surrender flag. You know what? This may give them a false sense of security. I like this. And convert to the new template. Good. Let's work on some basic weapons now and give those passive bonuses to our infantry and also continue getting better artillery as well. We have to put all of our spies inside of Yugoslavia now for the impending push. All right, let's get three full army groups. So we're lacking nine divisions here. So let's train another nine of you. Good. It's probably also going to be worthwhile to have a few more army groups just to fill out front lines if need be. So we'll train another 12 divisions just to have as reserve that can filter into a front line if front line is falling. The justification is complete. Let's pull the air wings back and we're going to declare war on you. Yugoslavia. Yes, that's right. That wasn't a mistake. I did actually spot that the UK did guarantee Yugoslavia. You need to be prepared. Okay, my advice in this circumstance is try and push in and try and make a V-shape like that. And then we can use our troops, squeeze in and try and encircle the front line. So now we're at war with the UK, Romania, and very soon France as well. So this is going quite well. Make sure you pin them in as you move forward and you can encircle the entirety of the front line if you've got enough firepower. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was textbook. Enjoy your pocket, guys. Please rate my pocket. Comment below. In the meantime, we're not having any issues in the Alpine region, so we can, can completely focus on the Western Balkans and push, 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 push. Push the front line. Go, go, go. Now we're at war with France, so be aware that this front line can be compromised. Beautiful. Textbook encirclement. Oh, I say that, and then Romania turns up. Oh, never mind. Overrun. Okay. Get into position. And it looks like there's another opportunity here to push forward, so I'm going to take it. And it looks like there's an opportunity to make an encirclement, which I love to see. And there we go. Four divisions. You're mine. And there's another opportunity for encirclement here. What are you doing, Yugoslavia? Yugoslavian incompetence. And once again, push on the front line. Push out. Incredibly weak right now. But just one issue is you have to deal with the Romanian divisions as well, which is a bit of a pain. Trivia time. What is this mountain range here called? If you know, comment below. And beautiful. Another encirclement. Flawless. Beautiful. Careless. Are you impressed? You should be. Right. Infantry specialist. I forgot to add him on. Whoops. Try to cut them off between the Bulgarian and the Romanian border. Oh, yeah, we actually have. Oh, my God. Three big, fat, juicy encirclements. I am so happy with that. And he's going to try and connect his troops here and stop him from doing that. No, you do not. There we go. Encirclement. Perfection. All those Romanian troops. Okay. Need to make a front line again. Once again. 
get them in position. All right, a bunch of divisions have landed. Got most of them on the Alps. The rest, we're going to form into a new army group. Okay, I'm going to try and make a push now. Ideally, if you can push through the south, that's going to be more ideal. Let's just see how well we do. We concentrate a lot of air power here. We might actually be able to knock them out. If we knock out the south, then it's pretty much over for Romania. Are we done? Yeah. Oh, my God. Easy. So that we made a break now. We could cause them all to attack their actual battle plan order. My advice is sweep northwards, and you can cut them off before they move further north. It might be tempting to go for the victory points, which I am going to go for as well. The main force of your army needs to push further northwards, and this will do the same thing as we did before. This will lock in their front line, and by the looks of things, oh my god, an effortless encirclement. Even though it looks like the opportunity to make an encirclement is less and less likely now, the truth behind it is we're still pinning in most of their divisions, so we've got the free reign just to take up and gobble up all of these victory points just to knock them out as quickly as possible. Possible. We don't need to fight them. The truth is we just eat up all their victory points and capitulate them. There we go. Capitulate it. Next up, Bulgaria. And the beauty of this too is you can justify on these nations at lightning speed because you're at war with a major power. You look really closely and you can see world tensions reduce it and also you can justify minus 80% time because you're currently at war with a major power. This secondary army is going to be converted into 7-2s and pop them on the front line here as well. It doesn't look like this front line is doing as well so what I'm going to do is move all my air force over back here and start doing some bombings. It looks like we should hold this with ease and look at these French divisions. They're getting absolutely bad and bruised. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. It's important that these divisions suck because you want to make the AI believe it can win and push it and knock me back. The truth is, no, you won't. Snow, mountains, full air coverage. Yeah, this ain't happening. Declare, aggressive, off you go. Regardless, next up, Bulgaria is gone. Two army groups into Hungary. Justification on Hungary. Declare war and off you go. Hungry, no more. Here comes the more tricky part. So let's move most of our army forward. And in the meantime, we can start moving this army back. That's right. We're actually going to intentionally push back here and lose land. My advice is manually retreat them back. And there's a few reasons for that. And you'll see very shortly. Once you've micro them all back to your new fallback line, you'd be in a really good position. There we go. And they're going to push into you now. That's good. All right, then. This is Operation Encircle the Alps. That's right, an encirclement in the mountains. Are you mad? That's right, I am mad. Here, here, and here. Get them into position. Staff office plan for both. Three, two, one. Off you go. And the initial force, Yog submits. Put them onto a front line as well. Help them out with a little bit of extra support if possible. A little bit of extra firepower goes a long way. And I think we're going to break them. Yep, we broke the south. That's good. Make sure to spread out. And then also attack now with the rest of the army and break through. Important that you keep pushing with the main force to pin them in. As you can see now, I'm just going to continuously move forward. Push, push, push. Don't worry too much if only one of your front lines push. In this case, the south's pushing, but the north is not moving as quickly. Don't worry too much about that. In this case, we've got a clean break, so we're just going to go straight straight for it. As you can see here, I'm pushing into every angle and securing the river directly behind them. And that's looking incredibly good. Can we secure the border up against Switzerland? That would be amazing if we could. Ah, oh, one more push and then we get it. And that's it. Is that it? There we go. <laughs> At the same time, we'll form a new front line. And for some reason, the front lines are bugged out. Have they bugged out? Yep. Yeah, there we go. Lock them in place, boys. And there we go. We've secured the front line. As long as we can hold this pocket for as long as possible, we're going to get rid of at least half a million troops. So it's going to be in our favor. And you're dead. Get out of there. There we go. Plan is to push north like that. Main army go here. And then the other army once again. Just a big, nice, wide open front. Control B. Off you go. Main army is going to push. And then the other ones can filter through as well. I think for the most part, because we bruised and beaten their army, how much damage have we done? 750,000 for France, 155,000 for the UK. I think at this point, don't think they're going to be able to recover. Yep, nice breakthrough in the north. Keep expanding the front line. But there's an opportunity here right in the center. Get an encirclement. It's their full army, similar to the Alps situation. Encirclement around Vichy. Is it a sign? Mini encirclement right here? Once again, the Western Front here is collapsing, and in the north they're collapsing. What you tend to find is they've not got enough divisions to hold the front line, is that you can like make these big front lines and make all the divisions collapse into one spot, so you can just walk around them. And is that encirclement again? Yep, another one. And France has collapsed, so it's not even mattered anyway. Next up, Luxembourg. There we go. Get out of here, UK. France is lost. It's not coming back. Oh my god, so many divisions dissolved. Luxembourg, you're gone. 
Next up, Belgium. Okay, move your spies around. Another tough one to crack is Spain. So I want to drop a few spies inside of Spain. Belgium, you're next. A little bit of air control can go a long way into Belgium because usually the UK will land lots of troops there. In this case, they've not dropped any, so that's fine. Justify on the Netherlands. Easy. Holland, you're gone. Once again, air support will make a big difference. Netherlands is quite difficult to break due to all the urban and the big fat rivers as well. So don't get stuck behind a river. Don't make that mistake. Be nice and quick, smooth. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. As you can see, I mean, a little bit difficult to break in Amsterdam. We surround it with lots of firepower and air support. There you go, it's gone. Make sure you clear up those British divisions as well. Spain, you're next. Oh my goodness, Spain, you've barely got any divisions. Oh dear. And of course, with it goes without saying, I might have one a bit of air support, just a tiny wee bit. And uh, demolished. <laughs> Absolutely demolished. And a lot of these divisions are, for the most part, incredibly weak, so we're just going to steamroll them, walk straight over the top of them. Germany sent volunteers to help out Spain. Uh, I wonder if that's something to do with being hard-coded for the Spanish Civil War. Hmm. I think if we take Madrid now, I think it's over. 99%. And 100. We're just left with three divisions. It's always good to take out more British as well as Commonwealth troops because at the end of the day, you're going to be fighting less of them in Africa and the Middle East anyway. Easy. All right, who's next? That's right. We're going to need to take care of the Swiss. That's good. Exercise. Railroad over. Go, go, go. And now we push into the Swiss. With full control of the Alpine zone, meaning we can chew through the Swiss. Try and secure Zurich before the Germans do, because then they're just going to cause you problems and take some of your land from you. And they've secured it. Will they actually get it, though, when we capitulate them? Actually, no. They actually still do have Zurich. Let me just shovel check. Roman ambitions. Yeah, you need all Swiss states. So what I'm going to have to do is join the Germans and ask for control of Eastern Switzerland. That's right. It's mine. Thank you very much. Next up, Greece. Don't forget about your spies. Another nation that's quite difficult to break is Turkey. So pop your spies into there. Justify on Greece. Got a little bit of excess of artillery here. So I'm going to pop on these and train these boys up too. Yep, I've not forgotten about you, Portugal. You're coming next. Exercise you to level 3 too. And off you go. Full air control. They will just melt. One thing you might be aware of, Greece, is they're a bit nasty when it comes down to breaking front lines. So just right click, push Athens, push into the south of Greece, and that should be fine. See what I mean? No front lines anymore. Hmm, why? Hmm. And Greece has fallen. These divisions now. One goes on the front line. Hmm, preferably this one. And the next one just goes on the northern front and pushes across to Istanbul. We don't want to get stuck in Istanbul. That would be really embarrassing at this stage. There you go. Off you go. Off you go. A nice, easy melt on Portugal. Turkey, Europe. And push directly to Istanbul. And this will lock them in place. And you keep pushing. Go, go, go. If you get stuck in Istanbul, that'd be embarrassing. If you get stuck just over Istanbul, that's really embarrassing. If you get stuck on the mountain over Istanbul in Izmit, yeah, that's really embarrassing. Don't get that happen. Just keep going. Keep pushing. You'll get there. I believe in you. And also, for some reason, they don't seem to attack here. I want to close this pocket because there's a port and they can escape. Don't let them escape. They're stuck here. This is their new home. And at this point, I don't want to move the air wings around, so I'm just going to sign them onto a general and let them take care of it. A few pockets inside of Turkey, but I want to knock out Turkey first, then we can take care of this random crap. All right, Turkey's gone. Next up, the Levant. The best way of securing these little islands is to push through, knock them out of the way, and then instantly grab the island straight away. And a lot of the time, they'll counterattack. And you can just push back and forth. And they're going to have too many divisions on the islands. What I'm going to do is leave a few divisions behind here. And then the rest are going to secure this northern front. Slice through the Levant. Don't get stuck behind the Seuss. Don't be a fool. Just keep pushing over it. And this is the hardest front to break. And once you broke that, it's all win in Africa. Now. Oh my god, these divisions are all de -orged. They've put too many divisions on one spot. Now they're going to get completely steamrolled. Prepare for the overruns. Here they come. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's close these really annoying island pockets. And the deorging, keep going, keep deorging them. Kind of hard to break. There we go, finally broke them. Once again, the islands here are a nightmare to break. More free divisions. I'll take them, thanks. Encirclement porn. 1.45 million losses for the UK. Oof. Nice, lovely little pocket in Africa here. I like it. This is probably going to come in handy too. Landing craft. Push into Libya and then uh, North Africa. We need the air wings now. So grab them all. And now we're going to go with a mass bombardment of the East Mediterranean Sea. Put them in half and go here. And naval strike. 
Now we're going to hit a loads of ships as well as submarines to try and make this area free of allied shipping. Oh my god, look at all the damage we're doing. Completely wiping out every screening ship and every submarine. Naval invasion order here to here and then here to here. Get planning it ASAP. All right, Navy time. We made a lot of bathtubs, 273. And the objective here is to get lots and lots of naval supremacy. Pop you right here, and then we'll put naval support, naval invasion support right here. Put them right nearby, and off you go. Naval invasion and zero resistance. Such a build up, very little payoff. Their navy right in the central med. And then naval invasion right on Malta. Any troops in Malta? Next up, Sardinia. Here, 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 and here, and here. Off you go. Activate battle plan. Will they have troops here, or are they abandoned all the islands? It looks like they've abandoned the islands. Okay, oh, here we go, one division. One very battered and bruised French division. The Americans have just joined the war, so they're gonna flood this front line with divisions, so things in North Africa are gonna get a lot more difficult if you're not careful. Naval invasion time. You know there's four divisions here. And then in Parma, there are no divisions. Oh, they just arrived a Spanish one. And off you go. Do shore bombardment, so move over there. And the CAS is going to continuously do damage. And eventually, these will break. I just to show a vast number of CAS bombing this one region. There we go. All right, island situation is secure. Now we can move all our air force to North Africa and clear this up. The army that was doing the island hopping. Feel that island there. And Iraq. I'm not forgotten about you. You're next. Liquify them. Fantastic melt and there we go a beautiful italy and that's it now it is red all hail augustus mussolini plus one billion prestige and here comes the manpower here we go going up 250,000. 7.35 million manpower <laughs> and that means all the garrisons come back to me as well because the vast majority of this is core territory absolutely beautiful as always, guys, thank you so much for your support. If your name is on screen right now, you are very special to me.